hunters, if you are watching this video, that means that you are interested in learning how to capture a monster in Monster Hunter World. Whether that is capturing something to become your pet, or capturing a monster for research purposes. In this video, I will show you how to capture your monster. First of all, you need to go equipped. You need to get a trap, whether that is a pitfall trap or a shock trap. A pitfall trap is created by you crafting a net, which is done by having spiderweb and ivy, and then combining the spiderweb with a trap trap tool item which you can get these items from either going to the salesman in the main hub world which you can see here or go to the guild hall and buy from this nice lady another trap you can use and which is a little faster as well is the shock trap the shock trap can be created by using thunderbug and trap tool once you are done crafting your trap you need drugs to put that monster to sweet sweet lullaby if you are a gunner you can actually get trank bullets but if you are a close range hunter, you can get Trank Bombs, which you throw down on the ground around the monster and it just puts it to sleep. You need about two, usually, to put it to sleep. Trank Bombs are crafted by using Sleep Herb and Parashroom. Now that you have your equipment, let's go out to the field. Once you're on the field, you need to find your monster and then beat it to submission. Once you are done beating the monster to submission, you need to look for the signs to know that the monster is ready to capture. You can check the little heartbeat sense at the bottom left of your screen. When it's very, very flat, it's about ready to capture. But the main way you know that the monster is ready to capture is when you see it limp. When you see this limp, follow it to its den, put a trap down under it, and throw some tranks down. However, however, depending on what den the monster is in, different traps might not work in that place. For example, the bear off in this situation, my pitfall trap wouldn't work because it's in the swamp area. So you should probably wake it up without killing it, careful with that, and bring it into an area where you can use your traps. This also affects the electric traps. Some electric traps don't work in certain surfaces, and you kind of need to kind of figure that out. You have to lead them to a place where it does work. And once it is in the trap, you need to throw them some tranks, and there you go, you caught your first monster. The secondary way of catching monsters is through your little bug net. In your arm here you can just lap it into your slinger and you can just shoot little monsters around the area and just put it in your net and it's your now now your pet which you can go back home and have your little kitty that manages your home set it up for you to have little pets walking around however you cannot use this net on bigger monsters you can use this net on a lot of stuff like ants um little bunny things but you can't use it on monsters that are too big like this deer here it's not gonna work. Now, I'm going to also explain one thing about the capturing system. Some people think that you can capture monsters with environment traps. I have not personally seen this work. I tried it with a uh, paralyzed toad, but it didn't work. I don't know if this is this works with other traps. For, from my experience, it does not work. If you know a time where it has worked, please let me know in the comments down below. I actually have been trying to get them in the environment traps, but it's really, really hard. Uh, so, uh, let me know if you guys have done it. I have never done it. I've never seen it done. But, yeah. I hope, you guys, I hope this uh, video was very informative to you guys. I hope it helped you guys out. And I hope you guys subscribe to our channel, like this video, and all that stuff. Good stuff, you know. Also, if you guys are new to this channel, we have a Let's Play going on of Monster World. Please check it out. We post videos almost every day from Awesome the World and we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!